What's going on guys? It's a Wadden Turtle and today we are doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. It's been a little bit since I posted a Yu-Gi-Oh! video and unfortunately the reason for that is it's not that I have not been opening stuff. However, the last time I transferred a bunch of video files from my phone to the computer to do the editing, uh, the files got corrupted in the process. And I was very upset about that because I did a bunch of openings, especially on the Yu-Gi-Oh! side, um, during before that. So uh, fortunately I lost a lot of that content. However, the silver lining is that none of those were very good openings in fact they were really bad um so maybe that just means that it wasn't meant to be and however hopefully this one you guys will see and that'll be absolutely amazing oh pulls as well so let's get into it we are doing some infinity chasers we haven't even finished a full box just because i did lose that content however again we didn't get anything crazy but let's see if we can't pull something really good from this box talking some of the witchcrafter creation as well as the Xerzeal um secret rare and uh because we've been pulling a lot of like Xerzeal, not Xerzeal. so let's get into it guys all right infinity chasers so even though we've only posted half a box on as far as videos go uh, i have opened two boxes so far i think and so actually this is my last one and didn't really get very good hits in those first two boxes so hopefully this is the one uh as far as hits go nothing as crazy as compared to like the savage strike um in that phantasme but there are some good cards, primarily again those that uh, Witchcrafter Creation as well as Surzeal, uh Watcher of the Evil Eye. So we have 12 packs of Infinity Chasers and let's just get right into it guys. And uh, in case you are not familiar with this set or maybe in case uh, you're coming from kind of like more on the Pokemon side. Uh, so this is one of the Yu-Gi-Oh sets that has, they're all, all foils. Essentially, oh boy, background is falling apart guys. Um, Essentially, they have four super rares followed by one secret rare in each pack, which is kind of uh, good and kind of bad. So our first one is an Evil Eye Awakening, and definitely the on the special on the secret rare slot, there's it's definitely not even distribution. Um, I find that you kind of get like one good secret rare hit per side of the box, fairly similar to the other kind of boosters. And uh, given that there's only five cards, it goes through really quick. And you start seeing a lot of duplicates. I think there's like 40 supers and 20 secrets in the whole set. So we got a Juragetto, and then a Evil Eye Dominion Paradolia. Huh, I'm not sure if this might be my first one of that secret rare. Hope it wasn't the, the hit of the side of the box. But um, this set is just okay. Uh, definitely enjoyed Infinity or Savage Strike significantly more. We have a Magician's right hand and then a Infinity Track Trencher. So as far as the archetypes, primarily it's the Witchcrafter, the Evil Eyes, and then the Infinity Tracks. Uh, there's a couple like Phantom, Phantom Mecha Beasts or something. <laughs> Some of the names are a little ridiculous. So we have a Marshalling Field. Confronting the sea, so this is actually an insect. If you can find the insect, good job, because I don't I have no idea where it actually is. Arcanite Magician, and then a Witchcrafter Pittore. Pulled, probably have like, I don't know, six of these by now. Um, that's one thing about these sets is you get most of the stuff in a matter of like op just opening two boxes, uh, except for obviously those very sought after cards. Um, all right, so let's see. All right, so this is the Infinity Track. Basically, it's various con vehicles of construction equipment. And oh, another one is the Heavy Freight Trains. These are just trains that are apparently, as far as like Yu-Gi-Oh goes, like I feel like they're really creative and like they just com continue to pump out really cool art, uh, Earth Slicer. But when it comes to the Infinity Track and the trains, like hmm, that's just kind of weird. When it comes to like the Witchcrafter stuff, uh, I feel like it's just kind of like a bunch of like female magicians which is I don't know I don't find it that exciting especially when it comes to the art um, and here's the the they're just vehicles that are have like some kind of mech beast on it so mecha phantom beast draco sack is another very strange one magic cylinder not a, like a not a very good hit in this set but just a very nostalgic card for me and we have another trencher so as you can see we're already hitting quite a bit of duplication 
on that secret rare slot. Uh, so I, I think it's just it's just accurate to just consider it as the rare slot, and kind of like if you consider it compared to like old school Yu-Gi-Oh, where um, where super rares are actually quite rare than ultra rares. If you get hit ultra rare, you're really happy with that. Uh, Mecha Mythical Beast Jackal King is actually a pretty good hit. And then here's that Xerzeal, Ruler of the Evil Eye. And not the one we're looking for, we are looking for Xerzeal. <laughs> uh, so just remember, we're looking for the effect monster uh, that starts with the S instead of the link with a Z, although they sound very similar. And so we're running low on packs. Um, you guys can probably tell I'm less enthusiastic compared to when we are doing Savage Strike. We got a Magician's Left Hand, Infinitrack, Crab Crane. At least this thing looks like it can fight. Um, Secret Village of the Spellcasters. And then another Infinitrack Earth Slicer. Alright, we got four packs left in the first half of this box. Let's see, we got a Witchcrafter Shmeta. Shmieta, Spin Turn, Marshalling Field, Bound Wand, and then Evil Eye Mesmerism. Mesmerism, that's kind of a weird word. Alright, Spell Book of Knowledge, Spell Absorption, Phantom Fortress, so this is like an aircraft carrier that is flying, Evil Eye Defeat. And then another Xerzeal. So the duplication is real, guys. It could be that's like this is always the case for these kind of sets. In fact, that that's probably the case. Um, but yeah, it's just not that exciting to open. Got to just to be completely honest. We got another Crab Crane, and then Infinitrack River Stormer. So as far as the Infinitrack, this is probably the coolest one. Looks like just some kind of tank with three big turrets on it. Kind of reminds me of the Bor Barolo Dragon. Thought that was a really cool um, vintage or kind of like old school Yu Gi Oh card uh, in the show. Just really cool. I feel like its effect was pretty good too. We have a Rank Up Magic Astral Force. So this is the last pack, guys. So let's try to get a actually good secret rare. We got a Witchcrafter Pateri, Infinitrack Tunneler, and then for the last secret rare of the opening, we have Evil Eye Mesmeration again. So. Yeah, nothing good at all. And just to kind of emphasize, I wonder if this was like our special one because this is probably the first time I've seen that card. Uh, we have two Xerzeals, two Mesmerisms, two Slicers, and two Trenchers, and then a couple other Secret Rares. Nothing really good. I feel like the only pretty good hit is this Pendulum card and Mythical Beast Jackal King. So. Yeah, Infinity Chasers, to me a bit of a dud to be honest, but uh, we do are getting some of the Speed Duel um, boxes coming up very soon, so hopefully that will kind of bring some more more life into the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things, but uh, so um, hopefully it gets better than this, guys, and uh, if you are enjoying the Yu-Gi-Oh content, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, we're still trying to build out uh, the audience here and try to find our, our niche. Um, but uh, thanks for watching guys uh, subscribe if you're not already to support the channel and I'm a Wanda Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace